there's a lot of people these days who feel quite depressed. And whether there is such a concept of clinical depression or not, I actually don't know, which I know sounds stupid, but I think that the majority of people who have depression, I don't think it's this like weird mystical chemical imbalance that they might need medication for. It's in my belief that we feel depression when we don't act like how humans are supposed to act. Now, you remember being a child and how playful and innocent and beautiful the world used to be. And I'm not talking about being a teenager, but I'm talking about actually being like a pure child. Remember when you used to climb trees and you used to jump over puddles? Like remember when you used to literally just lie down in the grass and you just kind of like look at the individual blades of grass and you'd see tiny insects and you'd play with them, maybe you'd kill them, right? We don't do that as adults anymore. We're so focused on our phones, on our computers, on like just, you know, these desires that have been put into us by influencers and by media. We're constantly thinking about sex, but not in like a loving way, more in like a validation, like, you know, obsessed with ejaculation. So we live this like shallow life, this dirty, shameful life as adults. And we wonder why we don't feel like happy, playful children anymore. So a lot of people believe that depression is something that they can't change. I'm depressed. I need medication. I think the issue from my understanding with medication is that it's not going to cure the problem. There's a reason why you're depressed. The medication just kind of masks the symptoms and kind of like makes you feel a little bit better, like a bit more mellow today. You know, antidepressants kind of take off the sort of extreme high and the extreme low. And so you're in this weird gray androgynous zone. And I'm not sure if that's the best way to go ahead like go about this. I think perhaps a better way, which is going to require me to sound like a fucking asshole, is to ask you why you deserve to be depressed. If you really want this full guide to help you, and if you really want to make some progress here, it might be worth for you to like, not Think of me as a bad person when I say that. And for you to ask the question to yourself, maybe write this down and, you know, write this as a note or something and to answer this. What am I doing to deserve to feel depressed? It sounds like a horrible question. I can imagine so many people might like think that I'm weird or I'm a bad person for asking you this. I personally believe, like, you know, you've tried, you've listened to the entire world. Just listen to me for like two minutes and let me just explain my mindset. And you can just try what I'm saying, right? I personally believe that we deserve most of what happens to it. Pretty much everything apart from like extreme freak accidents and everything like that, right? And I believe, especially when it comes to things of how we feel, we are in total control of that, whether or not we realize it and whether or not we accept it. And so I believe it's more of an empowering thought to have that our emotions are simply just caused by our actions. And honestly, when I've started to think like this, like I've started to think, okay, I control how I feel in life. I've had more control over it. So this is what I, I want to give you this gift because it's one of the best things that's ever happened to me. And I, I This is going to maybe sound like boasting, but it's not even in the kind of boast that most people would do. You know, most people will talk about their money and their fast cars. One of the things I I really like am proud of and I could boast about, I'm genuinely like quite a happy, content person. If there's 10 people sat waiting for the train, nine of them are on a phone and I'm the 10th guy who's literally happier than all of them put together with a smile on my face, just kind of like looking at the world. That's the kind of man that I've become now. And I promise that I was not always like this. This is because I've conditioned my own mind to like fight for my happiness, my joy, my my survival, my my gratitude and presence. And so I want to give you this gift, this, this mindset that I've had. If you ask yourself right now and just be totally honest and really write this down as an actionable step, write some notes on this. What am I doing to deserve to feel depressed? Just write bullet point some some ideas and your your lizard brain might pipe up and say oh you know nothing it's you know it's just what my doctor told me it's just you know it's it's genetic and stuff but just ask yourself you don't even need to you don't need more in education or anything just ask yourself what are some of the actions i'm doing that probably leads to this and you pro- you could probably write a hundred let's just be honest i wake up late i'm sleep deprived I don't drink enough water. I wake up and the first thing I do is grab my phone even though I shouldn't. I watch an Andrew Huberman podcast where he said that you should get sunlight in the morning and I don't do it. I wear the same clothes and they're dirty and they stink, but I just throw them on the floor, then I put them back up and I put them on. I have no respect for myself. I haven't groomed in a while. I missed quite a few days of brushing my teeth. I haven't played anything other than stimulation and porn and destructive habits. I've been addicted to these habits for a very long time and I've been unable to quit. I eat a very poor diet that my parents probably conditioned me to eat. You could write a massive list of reasons of 
actions that you're doing which are contributing to you not feeling good. Now please try this. On the other side of the page, or maybe just below it on a PC, write, what activities and tasks was I doing as a child when I felt really happy? And if you've got some memories, you can just replay them. I was spending time with my brother. We would listen to peaceful music and we would play Yu-Gi-Oh! like a card game. We'd play cricket in the back garden and would make up games where one of us had to be blindfolded but still hit the ball. When it was raining outside, that's when we'd go outside to play cricket so that it was just kind of, in a weird way, more uncomfortable but also like kind of more hardcore. We'd practice things just for the sake of practicing. Like we used to like parkour and we weren't even good at it. So we'd literally just try and like jump over fences. Like we would literally spend an hour trying to jump over a fence for the sake of just trying to jump over it, just for fun. I'd spend more time with my mother and I'd laugh and she'd tell me stories. My dad would teach me maths. I would spend way more time playing outside with my friends. The things that we would do before mobile phones was very enjoyable. We'd just go to like parks and literally we'd just jump over stuff. I swear childhood was just about jumping over stuff. We would climb trees and I'd be in awe as my dad could climb like the biggest tree ever and I could only get to like the second branch. I'd purposely jump into a muddy puddle and get it all over my shoes and you know, my mum would be angry at me but it was really fun. We'd go on adventures, which was literally just like a mile away from our house and we'd end up going into like a random field and like make up stories like, oh yeah, this is where the homeless man lives who, who kills kids. Innocence, like pure childish joy and play. What makes you happy? What makes you not feel depressed? I'm not sure if it changes that much. I think that, you know, the things that we did as children that really brought us into a flow state that made us super happy. I think that it's specifically exactly the same activities right now, but it's that it feels kind of weird because as a grown adult, in some ways, like it shouldn't, but in some ways it can feel a little bit weird or awkward to consider the idea of going to go climb a tree, right? Or to do like some of these things of like inviting your friends, like going onto your friend's door, knocking on the door saying, hi, do you wanna play out? Don't bring your phone, let's just go like ride our bikes for no reason. No, hey, hey bro, do you wanna go jump over stuff? Right, there's a level of like, oh no, that's not what that's not what adults do, you know, this age. Like, yeah, we can go to the gym and that's kind of nice, but that's about it, right? And any other kind of playing is just online these days. It's video games and everything, right? I have an actionable step, just something peaceful for you to try. Take one activity that you can remember that you used to do as a child that used to be kind of fun and maybe exhilarating and start doing it today. Climbing trees. Like, when was the last time you climbed a tree? You can't feel depressed when you're up high on it. You literally just can't. You can't feel depressed when you're on a tree. When you go, go for a run or for a walk, right? And it's been raining and there's a puddle on the floor. You can't feel depressed as you try and jump over the puddle and you, you, know, you could kind of laugh at yourself because you didn't make it and you got it all over your shoes. You can't feel depressed when, that, when you're doing that. Now that's only a few seconds and then straight after that, the demons will come back. Okay, sure. But what if your day and your life and your month started to be filled up with these little micro childish habits? as they used to be as a kid. You used to see everything like a game. You used to see everything like a challenge. That's what we need to be like, even as adults. It's only, I wouldn't say Western, but it's only in these like, like these somewhat modern countries where people think that to be an adult means to be like this stuck up person who maybe doesn't smile so much unless it's socially appropriate, who acts like everyone else who doesn't act like a child and so we wonder why we feel so bad. If you go to some other countries, not so much countries, but if you go to especially tribes which have been like quite untouched by modern civilization, you'll see the adults will literally dance for like an hour or two every single day. They'll do things which are fun for the sake of doing things just for fun. You can almost picture right now if like a YouTuber or let's say if I did like a vlog with some like African tribe. You can imagine the kind of ones I'm talking about where they've all got like enough feathered head headdresses. They make them. They spend an hour picking like f feathers from chickens and whatever, dyeing them just because they're like, oh yeah, they, you know, they, there's the yellow feather and the. That's fun for them. 
then they're there, like you're doing that, they're dancing and everything and they're having a good time. And here we are thinking that, oh, I, 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 don't, I don't shouldn't dance. Yeah, that's awkward. I feel embarrassed by that. Back to work or back to my video games. So I invite you now as an actionable step to use discipline because it will require discipline. You will have a lot of limiting beliefs about this to think, nope, this isn't going to work. Nope, this is going to be cringe. Someone might see me, going to be cringe, going to be awkward, going to be uncomfortable. I'll go back to my video games. Hamza doesn't know what he's talking about. Depression can't be cured. Maybe you could be thinking that. But remember that I'm on your side here. And if your brain is, is literally arguing against he, like us and it's saying, oh, no, 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 we can't get any better. Is that really your own brain or is that like fucking evil demonic conditioning that's inside of you? Because your own brain should argue and fight for you, shouldn't it? The easiest way to start in a way that doesn't feel awkward like at all, which is how I started my mental health journey, was long distance running. By long distance, I don't even mean like long distance. For me, long distance was like two kilometers or something. But it was specifically running outdoors, not in on a treadmill, but outdoors, specifically with a prioritization of adventure rather than just running and calories and heart rate. So what I mean by this, this is this really transformed my mental health. And I saw I really hope that you could take this. I started running, but instead of me just trying to follow you on the route and running on the road and everything like normal people would do, I ran with cardio being like the second thing I was running for, the first thing I was running for was adventure and exploration. So I would specifically and purposefully run into places that I just wanted to see. So, you know, I'd like imagine, okay, here's, the, here's kind of like the road that everyone would be running around, like, you know, this big estate where I live, okay? Here's the road. Everyone just runs there. Instead of just following the same road as everyone else, I noticed that there's almost like an alleyway, like not like a dirty one, but, you know, just like a, a, a small road or something to the left which is very close to my house. And it just occurred to me, like, I've never been in that street before. So I run down there. It's a cul-de-sac, which means you, you literally just have to run back out, right? But it's kind of like, I just took it in for a second and I couldn't help but to imagine, you know, the game Grand Theft Auto, when you look at the map and the map is all like kind of blacked and dark out up until you kind of discover it, then the map's got light. And I couldn't imagine like my own city being like that, like this dark map with a few areas really brightly lit. And there's a few dark spots, like quite a lot, literally so close to my house where I've lived for so long, which I've never even seen. Because we've always just thought, oh yeah, well, you know, it's probably the same. But our eyes have never even witnessed something literally like two minutes walk away. We've never seen a specific house before. We've never seen a specific like, you know, car and the, the front garden before. There's some places you've not seen, which are literally just minutes away from yours. And if you allow this like fantasization to build up this, this feeling of wanting to explore an adventure and just go out today, maybe on a run for the purpose of literally just like exploring your, your local area, going somewhere new and almost looking at it like in awe, not focusing 100% on the run, but like, you know, getting somewhere and like looking around, smiling and seeing, okay, I've never seen that person before. I've never seen the house before. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that they had a, a big oak tree here. This is what we used to do as children. So I want to ask you, when was the last time your shoes got muddy on purpose? When was the last time you genuinely on purpose jumped into a puddle just to like get wet and dirty? When was the last time you genuinely went out and had a snowball fight? Or that you climbed a tree? And, you know, if you think that this is lame, the thing is big, macho, successful, you know, these, these masculine men that you see online, they're doing it. Andrew Tate's playing with his daughter and he's probably like goofing around with her. Jacko Willink, Bear Grylls, David Goggins. These are all guys who have got long-term partners who are playing with their kids every day and probably fooling around with them and laughing and playing hide and seek with them. Guys who have got fucking triple hour levels of testosterone. Guys who have literally been like military and successful business and kickboxer. And, and here they are literally playing more than we are because we're sat here trying to be too like masculine for our own good. Thinking, yeah, you know, like, oh yeah, no, no business. Yeah. When the best businessmen are literally playing. You liked this video, so go and watch the full guide because it took me weeks to make and it will genuinely change your life. It's popped up as a card. Go click on that right now. It's also a link in the description. Go click on that right now.